Good day, collectors and viewers. Social Distance Warrior is back, and today we're going to look at the speeder bike as it appeared in Star Wars Return of the Jedi. So, of course, the speeder bike made its debut in the movie in 1983 in Star Wars Return of the Jedi, which was the third film in the original trilogy, uh, titled Episode 6, the way we know it today. Uh, instantly fell in love with this vehicle. I remember being a kid and seeing this thing on the screen, and I was like blown away by the special effects with Luke and Leia riding on the speeder bike, trying to chase down the scout trooper before he was able to warn all the troops. God forbid, if he warns all the troops, what's going to happen to the rebel plans? They're not going to be able to uh, take out the shield generator to destroy the second Death Star. So a lot was on the line, and we got our first look at the speeder bike, as of course, as well as the biker scouts on the planet of Endor in Return of the Jedi in the second half of that movie. Now, one thing that was always amazing to me about Return of the Jedi it almost feels like two movies in one. You had the first part of it taking place on Tatooine with our hero saving Han Solo from the clutches of Jabba the Hutt. And then, of course, regrouping and then heading to Endor with a game plan of taking down that shield generator so that they can take out the second Death Star. So uh, we'd see the speeder bike first in that movie. Of course, fall in love with it with the sound effects, like the sound effects, the speed of this thing going through the forest. I remember holding on to my chair wondering, are they going to run into a tree and get destroyed? What's going to happen to these guys? They're going too fast. And of course, we get the toy version, the realistic version of this thing in action figure form in 1983. Uh, it came packaged in a box by itself, not with the figure. You had to buy the Biker Scout separately. But I remember getting mine in, mine in the store. I didn't get it right at the time a few years later. But I was able to get it, and I still have my original one that we're going to look at here in the review. That's this one over here. I have the Biker Scout on there. Now, that's not my original Biker Scout. It's a newer one that's in better shape. But you can see how well he fits, how well designed this toy is. And remember, we're, we're going back 40 years here. So this is 40 years ago. Uh, it's a lighter gray. It's not the exact look of the vehicle of the movie. But again, it matches a lot of the Imperial stuff that we had at the time that has more of a grayish tone to it so gray and black tone uh, lots of action features on this thing you know it's got the legs down here and when you move the legs you can see that in the back of the speeder bike here it opens and closes that f flap there on the back that's over the exhaust so that's a nice little feature these parts are easily lost and i've managed to sustain and hold mine over the years and again that is the original speeder bike that i got i believe in around 1985 circa 85 when star wars is starting to disappear uh, they had one at the store, brand new, and I begged my dad to pick this thing up for me. So that's what it looks like with the Biker Scout on it. Again, we're going to take him off. We're going to look at the vehicle in detail, and then we're going to compare it as it goes through the years. Okay, so here's the speeder bike without the figure on it. And we can see the features we just talked about where the landing gears go up and down there on the back. And again, you can see the nice detail on the back there as well. Try and get that into the light just so you can see how much detail went into this thing and then when you lift these the legs up they're on a spring they open and close that flap there on the back it's got a little bit of dust there uh there is a small little area here on the back that acts as a backpack or a storage area that it's actually a disguised button which we're going to look at in a second as far as the figure itself you can see there's a nice painted detail here uh, here's the spot where the figure would sit and if you lift this um, I guess you can say crossbar here that lifts up nicely. It's on a spring. Again, the design on this thing is amazing. That's exactly where you fit your figure on here, whether it's the Biker Scout or Luke or Leia or anybody else that you want to put on here. That's where you can hold them in place so they're not falling off when you're playing around with this thing. Uh, it does have its handlebars. Mine are a little loose, but you can see the handlebars clip right onto the, the edge over here on the side of the, of the bike. I'll try and move my hand into a different position so you can get a better look at it. Uh, and they're just, you know, there's little handlebars there. You can grab onto the handlebars and they just move out of the way. They're articulated that way. Underneath here, we can see there is a gun underneath that they can use to shoot and it rotates all the way around on this vehicle. And of course, the front part of the bike here as well, uh, feature-wise. Turn that over here to the side. That's what it looks like if we're looking at it directly forward. The speeder bike the original vintage one and you can see how well test the time it's still doesn't look like it doesn't fit in today it definitely looks like it 
could come out today as well. Feature-wise, the detail-wise on this thing is amazing. And the fact that the springs and everything hold up all these years is amazing as well. There's a little engine port here on the side on the side that's, you know, detailed nicely on there. Uh, so that backpack part here where I said it acts as a button, if we press that button, the speeder bike destroys. So you can have your scout trooper sitting on top there under that little crossbar and he won't fall off. And if we push that button there, we can see what happens. The bike blows up. So it turns into three pieces here. This is the third piece. You can have that laying on the floor sideways, blown up after Luke Skywalker took it out when he was trying to save Princess Leia. Uh, here's the middle piece. You can see how it sits on there. You can see the little spring inside there that lifts that crossbar up and down. But it's got a nicely designed little clip here in the back and clip here in the front where you attach it. And then, of course, here is the third piece, the front part of that bike, the fork or the, the tongue, whatever you want to call it. That's that piece there. And then to put this thing back together... It's actually pretty neat. So you have this part sitting over here. And then you have this part over here, which is the front part. It sits in, clips there in the front. And then that, that just clips all the way down there in the back. And that clips right in. Let's see if I can get it in there to show you guys. There we go. So again, 40 years old. So the spring's not as great. But again, it fits together, holds together. And that is that original vintage speeder bike. So we wouldn't get another version of that speeder bike till years later. So Star Wars, of course, would go dormant with no new movies or media. And then it would make its triumphant return in the 90s. And then with the release of the Power of the Force 2 light in 1995, soon after we'd get a brand new release of the speeder bike. And that'll be the one packed in with the Biker Scout over here. So let me just bring that forward to show you. So that's speeder bike in the box there with the biker scout. Now the biker scout, Imperial biker scout over here, he has a fixed articulation just to sit on that speeder bike. He looks pretty good sitting on it, but you can't do nothing else with this figure. He's a pack in figure that comes exclusive with the bike and he serves one purpose to sit on that bike. So he does have articulation on his knees there, but that's his whole purpose. Now, one thing you'll notice on the bike, it looks very familiar to the one we just looked at the original one. That's because it is. It is that original one exactly just with the new paint job. So a lot of the stuff that was coming out vehicle-wise in the Power of the Force 2 was just the vehicles being recycled or repainted or weathered to look a little more realistic. But the nostalgia crept in big time there in the 90s. And of course, I had to have this, as I'm sure a lot of other people had to have it as well, in their collection because it was Star Wars on the shelves again, which we didn't have for years. So that's what it looks like there from the front. We'll turn that around to the back just so you can see. And of course, they're advertising that exploding feature on the back like it's a brand new thing. Meanwhile, it's a 12-year-old gimmick already. And of course, there's a few other vehicles that were released at the time as part of the Power of the Force 2 when the line came out, came back. And of course, there's a little bio spec on the spe speeder bike as well. So we'll put that back over there. We're going to look at that bike in detail as well. I have it loose over here. So it's exactly the same speeder bike that we just looked at as part of the uh, Power of the Force 2, as just like that original one, identical in every single way. And of course, just the paint job is different. We can see some new weathering here. So they've put some silver spill here on the front to make it look like it's battle-worn or weathered. And that gives it a nice look and feel. And there were some extra stickers that they've added to this thing as well. Uh, clear ones, you can see I've applied them here on the front part. Now they've released this speeder bike with the Biker Scout, and he also came a couple of times um, re-released as well, once with Princess Leia and once with Luke Skywalker. So they had unique figures that came with their own speeder bikes as well. So if you had all three of them, you could do that whole scene through the forest moon of Endor where they're trying to get away. So this thing's identical. The button here on the back is not even painted a different color. The original one actually looks nicer because it's a different color. But of course, the updated paint job here, the weathering here around the front looks nice. It looks like there's some, you know, engine spill there or or burn marks from this thing being driven across Endor. And there's the gun there underneath on the bottom as well. If we turn it around here to the back, we can see that those exhausts with the flaps, they're exactly the same as the other one. I do like the color a lot better. Of course, this color matches what the vehicle looked like in the movie. It was more of a brown color. It wasn't a gray color. So that accuracy wise, it's a lot more realistic. What's interesting is that the handlebars and everything are exactly the same as that original one. In fact, I believe the handlebars are a little bit thicker here as well than the original one was. If I, let me just bring that one up close just to show you side by side. 
So you can kind of see the handlebars are a little bit different. The other ones have more of a grip look to them. These ones are thicker because they're just designed to hold that Biker Scout's open hands so you can sit on the bike really well. And of course, it blows up exactly the same way. You push that button there and this thing busts apart. I'll just do it for the fun of it because we all love action features. So let's just turn this guy to the side over here. And there we go. It's blown up. So it looks identical. You can see nothing new on there. It does have its three parts. And of course, it was such a nice design that they had to re-release this thing a second time. Numerous times. So that's the Power of the Force 2 version of the speeder bike. So as Star Wars grew older and the line matured and a lot of releases came out, we get a lot of different action figures released. We get a lot of stories released, whether it was the movies or comic books. And of course, they used the speeder bike design on different terrain. And in this case, we got a new version of the speeder bike in um, 2008 as part of the Legacy Collection Battle Pack. It was called the Hoth Speeder Bike Patrol. It actually came with two speeder bikes and two scout troopers on them and this thing was supposed to be uh, a concept design from empire strikes back so they were uh, supposed to have speeder bikes on planet hoth as well with the adats and with the atsts and these things are supposed to be driving there as well so that's what this thing's supposed to be reminiscent of uh, of course after watching the mandalorian you see the white speeder bikes of course you're like yeah that's they actually put those in the movie now which is awesome and i'm sure that's why they're in that movie or in that TV show, just to pay homage to that original design for these things. But that is exactly the same vehicle, exactly the same release that we saw in 1983, and exactly the same release that we saw again uh, in 1995 with the return of the Power of the Force 2 line. So not much of an update there. Uh, it still has the features where it blows up. It's amazing how this design's lasted over the years, and you can see the nice paint detail on the control console there, panel there in front of the Biker Scout. It's painted nicely silver with a red dot there. And there's nice weathering on this thing as well, Still silver weathering uh, over the white, which makes it look like it's battle-worn, which is awesome. And, of course, it came with these exclusive uh, Scout Troopers as well in white armor so they could be camouflaged into the snow on Hoth when they were attacking the Rebels. So it's an identical bike. It's nothing changed on this thing at all, but that was a... Notable release and different color version of that speeder bike from 2008. So in 2010, we started to get a lot of different vehicles and we got a large ADAT, which was titled the Badat at the time. And a lot of the vehicles had, um, not wouldn't say escape pods, but escape vehicles or small vehicles attached to them, which was a nice little added feature on their play feature. And the ADAT had one as well. So in the back of that ADAT, like we looked at in one of our reviews, we saw that there was a speeder bike hidden in the back there. And of course, we have that speeder bike over here as well. And it's an updated version of that one that was initially released in 1983. So we can see this is a nice clear white design. So it looks a lot shinier in look and feel to the one that came out of the 2008 Legacy Collection Pack. Now, it doesn't come with this Scout Trooper, but I've put him on there to show you what he looks like when he sits on there. Now, there is some noticeable differences on this guy over here. Uh, they've updated a few features here. This whole front fork or, or uh, front part of the bike bike here has a new design. Uh, there's a different gun or, or uh, nose here on the front of the vehicle. And of course, the design here is a little bit different as well. And we're just going to look at that in some detail. I just wanted to show you what it looks like with the Scout Trooper on it first. Just so you can see what the play feature looks like for this guy there. And then we'll look at it with the Scout Trooper off as well, so we can see exactly what the different details are on this bike. So once you remove that Scout Trooper, we'll notice that there is some differences between this and the original version. Now, it shares some of that original design, of course. Uh, we notice over here that that T-bar that was on the front part of the seat is gone. They've taken that away. So again, that was more of an eyesore in there out of necessity to hold the figure in place. But once they were able to update or add do added articulation on these action figures, they realized they could do away with that. You'll notice right away too is that the handlebars are completely redesigned. They're a brand new design. They make this bike look brand new, right? Uh, and of course, with that crossbar being gone there, you can see that it definitely adds a more detail to this vehicle. A much more simpler design, but it looks a lot better, more realistic to what we see in the movie as well. Uh, over here on the side, the wiring and stuff, there's some extra... Uh, wire parts over here on the side they're not just 
molded in. They're a separate part over there that gives it a nice uh, realistic feel to it on that side there. Uh, it does have that spring action, of course, as well with the flaps on the exhaust there on the back. So you can see it's a more lighter gray. It's more visible there on the back as well. And then, of course, over here underneath, we see that there is that rotating gun is still there underneath. Okay, we're going to turn them around to the other side. Here's, we can look at the other side of the bike. And then same thing over here. We have these tubes running from one side to the other, and they are separate pieces as well. So it's a nice added design there to update that original bike because I'm sure they started to realize that we can't just keep using the same design. We have to give some newness to this thing. Now, one thing you'll notice off the bat here is there's no more button here on the back. That explosive, explosive feature, that part's gone. So as nice as it was to have this thing looking more realistic, it does have the spring-loaded action here, but there's no way to blow this guy up anymore. He's done. He's just stuck in that pose. He's glued in place. He's not going anywhere. Uh, it's more of a gimmick anyway, that feature was. It's not like it was a feature that had to be on the bike. But nonetheless, I mean, not having it definitely stands out and shows you the difference. I wanted to show you this piece underneath here. does come off fully just to show you that as well so you can see the design of this thing is a lot different because it doesn't blow up it actually has a separate piece for the front uh, part of the bike and the back part of the bike and it just goes in there with these little pegs top to bottom there so no explosion feature you can pull it apart if you wanted to blow it up but again it doesn't have that same effect like the original one did but that's the bike that we got as part of the at, -AT set and again it's a notable um change on that original speeder bike to make it a little bit more realistic and a little bit more of a new feel to it so we fast forward a couple years to 2012 and to everybody's surprise nobody was expecting it we get a toys r us exclusive speeder bike a brand new version of a speeder bike with the biker scout exclusive biker scout to it as well and that's this bike over here now i don't think anybody was expecting this i think at the time uh, the prices were a little bit more expensive on these things. I did pass on this thing initially because I'm like, how many Biker Scouts and speeder bikes do I need? I already have one. I never actually looked at it in detail to see that it was a brand new version of a speeder bike, way more realistic in design than that original one. And of course, it comes with this awesome stand that you see here as well, where you can have it flying in the air. That's a nice little feature that it came with. And it came with a brand new super articulated version of the Scout Trooper there as well. You can see him on top. So he easily comes out of this stand. You'll notice the stand is stuck into the back of the part of the bike there. So it's not in the way. It doesn't just change the design of this thing anyway. And it just pulls right out. So when you pull that stand out, you can see the spot where it plugs in. That is a bit of an eyesore looking at it there. So you'd want to keep it plugged in. Because it almost looks like it's some sort of a poop shoot on the back of this speeder bike. And I don't think that design... Uh, pans very well when you're looking at this thing without the stand in it. So the stand is very simple. It's just two pieces that hook together there. And of course that hooks right into the back of the bike. So we'll move that stand away so we can look at the bike in detail. So we still have the flaps here on the back. Now the feet part of the bike, they don't come out anymore. They just, they're stuck in place there. It's a fixed part, but these flaps do open if you want to look at the bike inside. So the design's really neat there on the back part of the bike. There's no spring-loaded feature there. They just lift up and down. Okay, so you can close them fully there or you can open them up. And so let's just see what the bike looks like when we're looking at it from that down view. On there, you can see the Biker Scout sitting on the bike nicely there. And you can see the little bag here on the back that on the original one acted as a button. This is just a separate painted piece on there. It's The detail on there is nice. There's some weathering here on the side. Here's the part where the feet of the Scout Trooper sit. Uh, we can see the different look here on the underneath of course these are separate cables the rubber material here on the bike as well different color which is awesome uh, the gun is here underneath as well so we have that gun there the gun does rotate underneath there as well so you can shoot guys from the front from the side and of course here's the front part of the bike over here uh, you can see the nice weathering on it as well you can see the front tip here it's painted a different silver as well so this was a nice welcome surprise and detail wise this thing just looks amazing uh, here's what it looks like from the opposite side. We'll turn it around over here. We can see the different little engine or fan part component on the bike that's sitting over here. Again, it's a separate piece too. And you can see the nice little spot for the feet of the Scout Trooper to sit. And it almost has a little pocket here on the front where his feet go in. 
but we're going to take them off the bike so we can examine this thing in some detail. Detail wise, hands down, this is the best version of the speeder bike that we've gotten to date. And it's hard to believe that that's 2008 for the bike. But look at the detail. Look at the paint job on the front of this thing. There's a little control panel there on the front. You can see how nicely that's painted. There's red. There's silver buttons on there as well. And even the pad here is a different shade of gray or brown than the other side of the bike. Uh, the handlebars, of course, are brand new as well, sculpted on. Um, they're similar to the design of that one that came with the Adat, but again, brand new. You can see they're a lot more realistic. I love these little extra handlebars coming up here. It's like a 10-speed uh, or a speed bike, mountain bike that we've had as kids growing up. It definitely resembles that, but in a futuristic way. So that's what the bike looks like from the front. There we look at it from top, top down as well. We saw it already from the back. Let's have a look at it again without the Scout Trooper on there. And the nice little poop shoot there on the back. That's what it looks like from the other side. And you can see the nice spots here for the legs. There's little foot pegs to put them on so the Scout Trooper can sit on there and you don't have to worry about them falling off. Now there's one more added feature on this thing as well that we haven't looked at yet. This front part here, uh, just before the nose of the vehicle, this does come up as well. We can look at the engine inside there as well. So that lifts up. It's a nice little feature in there. And lo and behold, that thing's painted inside there as well. So how impressive and nice is that? There's a nice little silver top there and you can see the engine painted underneath there so again some added um, play value added detail on this thing making it more of a model than anything else but again an awesome thing for 2012 to have an updated speeder bike and have these little pleasing uh, components like a removable hood is an awesome thing on the bike so that's what we got in 2012 as a toys r us exclusive that's our speeder bike so we'd wait another number of years and we jumped from 2012 to 2023 and then in 2022 prior to 2023 hasbro announced that they're going to be releasing for the 40th anniversary of return of the jedi a brand new speeder bike with a scout trooper included so that's this guy over here and of course the packaging is definitely reminiscent of that original one that came out back in 1983 they tried to capture that look with a little green background there and the biker scout in there this thing comes with a carded scout trooper which is awesome a brand new version he's basically a kit bashed version of the one that came from 2012 with the added articulation on him and they've put a new head on there and he looks completely different amazing with that new head sculpt on there we're going to look at that in detail as well but there's the packaging with the nice kenner logo there on the front and we're going to turn this thing around up there you can see some more details on the top of the box uh, you can see the engine compartment opens up on this guy as well. And of course, there's the speeder bike look from the back as well with it sitting on a stand. Uh, nice little picture of the figure on the top there too. Packaging reminiscent of the old one. And then of course, we turn this thing to the back. We can see what it looks like there on the back as well. Nice photo. And with the biker scout on there and it says the vintage collection. So that's the box art for this vehicle. And let's have a look at the vehicle as well. Let's do a review on that. So that's the brand new speeder bike that we just released in 2023. And again, check out the detail on this guy. The stand is awesome on it. It's a nice clear stand. It's not as tall. It's smaller. And I think when they announced that they were going to release this thing, I was 100% sure they were just going to take that one that came from 2012 over there. Maybe repaint it and package it. But rather than doing that, they created a brand new speeder bike like completely brand new we're going to look at that and compare them as well but you can see the detail on this thing one thing that we noticed right off the bat is the original ones were so big if you look at them back there with the figures on them they're really really big those original bikes and of course um to add play value and have these things in the store they had to be a little bit larger they couldn't be tiny but now because it's such a collector focused driven hobby star wars is right now they try to make these things as realistic as possible to make it pleasing for everybody and they've gotten rid of a lot of the action features they haven't gotten rid of the expensive price the price on this thing is astronomical over here it was almost 70 dollars to get this thing with the figure 70 canadian if you can put that together i hope you're sitting down listening to that but that's what this thing cost in the store uh, and if you're able to get it at gamestop you had and you have an edge card you can get a little bit cheaper but that's what this thing goes for nowadays if you want to have one in your collection so that's what 
the scout trooper looks like on the bike. Look how awesome that looks with him on there with a nice large helmet. The detail, it's like a small miniature model of what we saw in the movie. And of course, the front of the bike here, we can see the added detail, the weathering here on the front, the little two dot or buttons here on the front. How awesome is that? Um, they've elongated this front tip part even more than the original ones to try and match it to the way it looked in the movie. Exactly. And we can see the little spot for the scout trooper to sit there on the back. Uh, we turn this thing from the back. We'll notice it does have the flaps here in the back as well. So we can lift those up if we want to look inside. So we have that option there. And we can see the detail on there. It's a lot better, or a lot more detailed than that original one was. It basically didn't have anything. This thing's got a molded uh, turbo engines there in the back as well. And of course, those flaps lift up. Uh, he does have the little pouch here on the back. Now, it isn't a button. In case you're wondering, does it have an action feature? It does not. It just sits on there. It's just like a pillow. And I'm pretty sure it's removable too. So if you wanted to take it off and have one with this thing not on the back, I'm pretty sure you could do that as well. I'm just going to try and do that while I'm on camera just to show you. Hopefully, I don't break it trying to do that. Um, give me one sec. Bear with me there. So it looks a little bit odd without it on. But if you wanted to remove it, you could. I've taken the Scout Trooper off this thing to look at it in a little bit more detail. We can see what it looks like without him on there. You can see how nice the seating area looks on this thing over here, detail-wise. You know, they've even added that little detail in the back part of the bike there as well, past the seat. Uh, the pouch is fully realistic here on the back, or that pillow. It always looks like a pillow to me, but that's his survival gear. Uh, the foot stands here, there's no peg on there for him to sit. Or to, to put his feet on, you just have to try and find a way to rest him on there where they're not going to move. And it's not really difficult. He is super articulated, which is awesome. We can see how the wiring is over here, de uh, detailed. Uh, the one that came in 2012, these wires are black here. This thing is all gray. It's all one color. Uh, it is sitting on the stand there. The stand does have a ball joint on there, so you can move it in many positions. And you have two di like three different heights here. You can see one, two or three to set this thing up. And we're gonna pull them off the stand just to show you what that looks like as well. Okay, that just pops off like that. And that's what it looks like underneath. You're never gonna be really looking underneath the bike. So you don't have to really worry about that extra hole that's added in there, but that's what that's for. That's to put the stand in. And let's turn this guy back around there so we can look at the bike. Top down right there. Let's turn it this way so we can look at that in detail. You can see the nice handlebars. You can see the panels painted on the front of this thing over here as well. There's a red button, the little black buttons there on the side as well. Detail-wise, it's uh, a lot went into this thing, a lot of TLC. It's very light compared to the previous one as well, so uh, it's gotten lighter. There is the gun here underneath. Now, what's interesting about the gun underneath, it doesn't turn anymore. It's fixed in that spot. They haven't even given it that feature. This thing's almost become completely a model, which kind of sucks. I would have liked to be able to move these leg gears up and down and have some feature there, have some options there and, and turn that gun around. But it's basically fixed in place like a model there. And and uh, that's what you're going to be doing with this guy. You're going to be having him either with a biker scout on it or with an Ewok on it or Luke and Leia on it or just, you know, sitting or having it crashed. But that's what this bike looks like without anybody on it. Uh, there's the front nose part of the vehicle as well. So you can look at that in detail. You can see it's painted on there nicely. It's weathered nicely. Uh, it does have, again, brand new handlebars on here. The handlebars are gray. And you can see the detail that went into them as well. And, of course, this thing does have the similar feature to the one that came in 2012 as well with the engine compartment that comes up. We kind of saw that on the box art as well. But interesting on this one here, unlike the one from 2012, this guy is not painted inside. So that's a little bit disappointing. The engine's not painted and the inside of that hood is not painted whereas the other one's painted silver it's nicely painted in there as well so a little bit of a design uh, flaw in there using that same feature but then not giving us the same quality when you raise the price up so that's the part I guess that only part that I would complain about I'm disappointed about I'm happy they made a brand new bike I'm not um, gonna sit here and say why didn't they spend their money or resources on something else it is the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi we should have a speeder bike it's definitely a cornerstone or a landmark item from that movie that tells us it's Return of the Jedi. You instantly know it's Return of the Jedi with a speeder bike in there. So that's what it looks like from this side as well. The bike, you can see the detail-wise. This thing is completely movie accurate. It's awesome. It looks amazing. 
Uh, it sits amazing with the figure on it there, but again, a lot of those action features are gone now on this bike compared to what we had initially. But that is our ultimate version of the speeder bike that's come out in 2023 as part of the vintage collection. And I'm sure we'll see it released again at some point, but that's as good as it gets. So I do love to throw Easter eggs into these reviews whenever I can. And I have one for you. So as part of the Power of the Force 2 in 1997 slash 1998, Hasbro did release expanded universe versions of some of the vehicles. So these were concept designs of vehicles as they were for the movies. There was a snow speeder, small one that came with a snow speeder pilot. There was a cloud city. It was not a twin pod cloud car. It was like a single pod cloud car that came with a cloud car pilot. And of course there was an indoor speeder bike as well. But rather than coming with an Imperial, this thing came with a rebel trooper. So this was a concept design they experimented for the movie. Now, whether or not they were going to have these guys battling those Imperial scout troopers on the speeder bikes and chasing them on their own bikes or whether they were supposed to have the bikes and they were going to roam around the indoor on them. But this thing's an awesome design. Look at the green look to it. It definitely has a mini rig feel to it. Uh, it definitely feels like it's from Endor because he's wearing green. But you can see it comes with a concept uh, pilot on there. He looks a little bit odd. But what's awesome about these things is it does have action features as well. And we're going to look at that. So the figure, he sits on there, very reminiscent to the original speeder bike. It has that crossbar that goes through his legs there. And he holds these little handlebars on the side there. And that's what he looks like on the bike. Let's turn him around over here. From the back, you can see it's got a lot of detail on there as well. It's got these grills running running around the back fenders um probably a giant engine inside there exhaust not much is painted there on the back but that's what the bike looks like from the front and from the side and we're going to take the figure off to look at that in detail as well so here's what the bike looks like the speeder bike without the rebel trooper sitting on it there you can see the seating area here for the bike this uh, crossbar here doesn't have a spring like the original one does it's just fixed in place. You're going to have to jam the figure between there. It does have little handles here for him to hold on to. You can see the nice little paint detail on this thing. It does look like a speeder bike. It definitely looks a little bit bulky compared to the other one. But it's a nice little concept design. And, you know, having something new, which was out of the norm, of course, at the time, was a breath of fresh air on the toy line, for sure. And having something like this was awesome. So we're going to turn this guy around and look at his action features. So we're going to turn him this way momentarily. And the front nose part of that vehicle, these parts do come back. They almost looks like they look like paddles, like he's about to go for a swim. But they actually come back there. And if we hold that in place, let's see if I can get this detail. And you push that, pull that little uh, lever backwards over here. Those things spring forward and act like an action feature. So I don't know if it goes from like a stationary pose to uh, an attack mode pose, but that's what that's supposed to be there for. There is also one more action feature on this thing over here. If we turn it upside down, we can see this is the landing gear of the stand. It, you can't really do anything with this thing. It's stuck in place. You can just maybe hold your hand there. But you'll notice there is an extra button here underneath. And if you look at the front of the bike here, we'll notice that there is a different color looking gun or missile here on the side. And yes, that does uh, shoot out if you push that button there on the back. So if I press that button there, see if I can't lose the missile. There we go. It still works after all these years. So that does shoot out of the side there. So a couple action features on this thing. But that was the speeder bike that we got as part of the Expanded Universe in the Power of the Force 2 line. as a nice little Easter egg for this review. One more review to look at before we're done. And that's our Black Series version of the speeder bike. So we did get a Black Series version of the speeder bike that came with a Scout Trooper in 2014. It was like a deluxe set when the line first came out. Uh, this thing was really slept on at the time, so the line wasn't popular yet, and you could pick this thing up for a pretty cheap um, price if you were patient enough and didn't pick it up right away, and I was able to get mine for literally dirt cheap because the line wasn't taking off at the beginning right away. It did it afterwards, of course, but you can see it does come with a stand. Um, the new one is definitely reminiscent of this guy. It's basically a miniature version of this guy, especially the stand. It's identical to this stand over here. You can see it there in the back. Um, it does come with the figure sitting on there. I'm going to pull it off the stand. So it follows that same design. Okay, we'll move the stand over here. And we'll just have a look at the Scout Trooper on there. Now, this thing doesn't open up 
the front part over here. You can't look at the engine on this guy like you can on the uh, Vintage Collection one. But you can see the detail handlebars. A lot of this thing already has those details back in 2014. I love the little pouch here on the back. The paint detail. The weathering on there looks amazing. If we turn this guy over here to the back. We can also see these flaps do lift up here as well. To look at the engine compartment underneath there. and they don't. That's about as far as up, up as they go. But you can see the nice detail in there as well. A different paint job on those turbo engines on the inside there as well. As far as the feet, they have the stand here. This is identical almost to the Vintage Collection one that we have. Very, very similar. And there's the hoses here. They're a harder plastic, but they're all in a black color. Uh, there is some interesting weathering here. It almost looks like paint smears. Uh, they didn't have probably the best uh, budget when they made this thing. They probably cheapened, cheaped out somewhere, but you can see that doesn't stand very well up to today's standards, especially compared to that Vintage one. Uh, it'd be better if they just didn't muck it up at all than put these smudges on there, but that's what it looks like. There's the front part, the nose of this vehicle, as you can see it detail-wise. It's a nice size. Again, this thing's been released in the Endor set as well with the Ewok, Han Solo, Princess Leia, and Luke Skywalker set. But that's the speeder bike, and that's what it looks like in the Black Series as well. So you can just do one more look here from a distance if we can. To see what it looks like from the back can't really get that on camera and to see what it looks like there from the side take one more look at this guy from a distance as well the black series version that's what he looks like if you're looking at him top down you can see the nice control panel painted in there as well again just those smudges they just kind of rub me the wrong way the smudges on this thing but size wise this thing is perfect the gun unlike the vintage collection one this one turns side to side it's not stuck in place so they've still given us an action feature on here, which is nice. And that's our review for the uh, speeder bike with the Biker Scout. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the review. Again, I enjoy doing the reviews. It's amazing to see how much this simple bike has changed over the years. But uh, it's nice to see that this thing is alive and kicking still 40 plus years later for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. So if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care.